What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Today we're doing another pond mission. I know, uh, always going to the same pond, right? But it's close. I can go do it like if I just want to run out real quick. Thought I was going to go fishing tomorrow, but it turns out I'm not going. So that's why I'm doing the pond mission. Uh, only taking four rods. Got a bandit crankbait on, a Texas rig set up, a Guggen jig, and a topwater frog. So I'm going to head to the pond and hopefully we actually catch something today. See you there. Okay, we made it to the lake, the pond. One thing I forgot to mention, I didn't charge the battery that's in the GoPro all the way. So it's like, I have like two and a half batteries instead of three. But I, I also don't plan on being here that long. Um, water clarity doesn't look bad. It looks pretty clear, actually. See some bass fry. I want to throw the frog over here to the left of me. Because this tree is creating a big shade pocket. So that's what we're going to start with. And it's dead calm. As long as my back doesn't keep falling over, that'd be great. All right, first cast, let's see. This is like ideal frog weather. Not gonna lie. One bad thing about the frog here, I think I've only ever caught one, maybe two fish on a frog. It's like they don't know what frogs are. They don't like the frog yet today. Maybe they're deeper. Do casts out that way. Real quick before I put this frog back for a minute. See how I trimmed the leg or the skirt on this one, on the one side? What that does, it doesn't matter what side you do it on, but what that does, it makes the frog walk a lot easier. So you don't have to put as much uh, effort into it. It's actually a really good thing to do. But if you want the frog to float more, you want to keep that skirt completely full because then it has like more more material to keep it afloat right I did put new hooks on this bandit they're uh what are they actually must add no. Other oh, owner. Owner. I forget the size. I thought they might be a little too big, but so far it seems to be good. And normally I would keep my rod tip a lot lower, but since that cast is real shallow and there's a lot of weeds here, I'm keeping the rod tip high. And that keeps the bait higher in the water. Just means when I go to hook set, I want a reel more than I want to actually hook set. So I mean, ideally, that frog is like prime over here, condition-wise. But these fish never eat a frog for some reason. Nothing. Nothing, nothing, nothing. Ooh, something swiped at it. 
could have been a bluegill. Again. Oh, that was one, but I didn't get it. Here we go. Got him on the Texas rig, the little, little guy. We still got one at least. Guggen baits, crack and call, crawl, sorry. Let's get him back. There he goes. Fortunately, I can't <laughs> wash my hands today. Like I usually do. Because I get all muddy. Yeah, I don't feel like doing that right now. Alright, at least we caught one. What the heck was that? Pulled my hook out. Alright, one more cast. Just gonna bomb it. Good enough. Wow, look at all the bugs that just came out. Holy crap. Screw it, let's go. 